Hello, and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Netter. In my last uh, recording, I showed you about the uh, UFW or uncomplicated firewall available on the Raspberry Pi and got you to the point where you could get it up and running. Well, the situation will happen fairly soon when you have a rule that you don't need anymore. And while you can disable it effectively, you go from allowing to denying, and that's how you would disable that rule. It's probably better in the long term to just go ahead and just delete the rule altogether because less rules you have to process on a firewall means the firewall can respond that much quicker and it just it makes it you know keeping it neat a little bit easier to do. So let's go ahead and we will get logged in. And now what we'll want to do is of course you should always check when you go in that UFW is up and running and unless something has happened you should come back with a response like that that shows you what the current status is. Now we can't delete just based on this information so what we'll have to go through and do is add one little keyword numbered and that now gives us the rule number to deal with. So if you did just a a disable of that rule it would you know put it into disabled status but really we want to go ahead and delete it and you notice now with also on the with the numbered keyword that's out there we now have additional information showing you that the rule is allowed inbound to UFW so it's not an internal rule it's one coming in from the outside so what we'll do to get rid of the rule is we'll do a sudo UFW delete and then the rule number and in this case you know I want to get rid of the telnet rule because normally I would not have telnet open on a firewall except for very brief periods of testing so we'll do two and it'll come back do we want to delete that one and the answer is yes okay now the rule is deleted now what we'll want to go back and do is verify that in fact that rule is actually gone because let's face it stuff does happen occasionally software is known to lie so we verified that so it's at this point all we've got to do is we've got to get the firewall restarted there are two ways you can do that do you remember from the previous uh, YouTube video that I did that you had this sudo UFW enable and disable that is certainly one way to do it the other way that I didn't talk about the last time is to do a sudo UFW reload because when you make a rules change you've got to get UFW restarted so that it knows about it so now it says the firewalls reloaded and we'll just go do a quick status and it says active and it shows us the one rule so that's really all there is to it there are other features that you can look at you can look at reordering rules uh, it's you know your imagination is going to let you do pretty much anything with the reason you want to try to do I'm going to be looking at some other things depending on the feedback I get from everyone who looks at this may do some other things you know it's pretty much up to you how uh, how I proceed on some of this so thank you for your time in watching the video and reading what's on my website for further information, as you can see now on the screen, uh, please go to www.ronnutter.com. Thank you.